welcome to Showcase Saturday. My name is Wanda and I'm going to do something a little different today. I wanted to do a card that was different than the normal and so I decided to do this really cute diamond fold card. I was surfing the web and I came across it on Creations with Christina and uh, so I just thought I'd share it with you because I just thought it was absolutely adorable. So um, I'm not going to do the full card from start to finish, but I am going to show you how to make the card itself. The digi digital stamp I used on it is from the Halloween House collection from Digital Delights. And then this one here is the Hugging Ghost set. And I just layered it on top with my digital uh, program. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how to make the card. You start with a piece of uh, cardstock, and I've already cut it. It's uh, 4 inches by 12 inches. And what you're going to do is you're going to score it at the 2 inch, the 4 inch, the 8 inch, and the 10 inch. And then you're going to come in at the 6 inch and just put a little line right at the top and the bottom. And what you're going to do next is you're going to turn on its side, and I put it on the 6 inch because it's easier to see with the double line. You can guess where it is. And you put it right here on the first score line. We're going to make the crisscross part, and you're just going to do it here, and then again right here. And then you can turn over and do it the same up here. just like this. Okay, and that gives you your crisscross pattern in that. Okay. Sorry, didn't quite have it just right. There we go. Alright, and then you're going to come back and you're going to just erase your little lines. Okay, and then we're going to start folding it. And you're going to fold it this way on top, on both hands. And then you're going to turn it over on the wrong side and fold it this way and this way. And now we're going to start making our crisscross. So we're going to fold it this way and then this way and then this way and this way. Okay, so that you have all your phones. And then you're going to turn it back on to your right side. And you're just going to pinch these right here and pinch them up. And as you're pinching them up, the sides are going to go in. And then you just bring it right down to that. And to get it so that it's a little tighter crease, you're just going to use your bone folder and then just come across it like this. Okay, so that gives you your diamond card, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the pieces on the side and I've used two different colors of um, paper and this is from the die cuts with a view that I got a couple of years ago and uh, so you're going to use the two different colors you're going to start with the center one and it is cut at two and a half by two and a half and I'm just going to use my ATG gun here and put the tape on it and you'll just center it right in there. And then I use the same paper for the ends, and they're cut at one and three fours at by three and three fours. And you just put them right on the end. Okay. And then we're gonna do our diamond papers for the middle and what we're going to do on there is we're going to use a different color and we're going to take them and they're cut at two and a half by two and a half and we're going to put them right in here and line it up with our cutting guide and we're going to cut it in half just like that and this will be used for our two ends right here see it goes just like that okay and then for the other little diamonds, because we want to um, have them separated because of the fold, we're going to cut it here, just like this. And then we're going to take it, and we're going to line it right up on the edge here. 
and it's even right on the, the point will be in your cutting guide. And cut that, and you end up like with the pieces here. And you do that on two of the uh, two and a half by two and a half. So you end up with the eight pieces for your little diamonds. Okay, so go ahead and do these two. put in your little diamonds. This one I didn't get quite centered. There, that looks better. Other than I tuck that under there. <laughs> That looks better. Okay, so you see how that goes? And you just continue this on till you get all of them put in there just like that. Alright, and then you just do the other side the same way, and there you go. There's your card. And when it's all done, then you just go ahead and put your little digital stamp on it the way you want it, and there's your card. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you next week. Huckles.